Let's face it, workplaces can sometimes feel like minefields of human behavior. We've all encountered them, those colleagues who leave a trail of negativity and stress in their wake. These toxic coworkers can make even the most engaging job feel unbearable, impacting not only our productivity, but also our mental and emotional well-being. No one is immune to this, from interns to CEOs across all industries. The impact of these individuals can be far-reaching, affecting team morale, project success, and even company culture. Toxic coworkers don't necessarily set out to ruin everyone's day. Often their behavior stems from their own insecurities, personal struggles, or simply a lack of self-awareness. Regardless of the root cause, the consequences are the same a poisoned work environment that leaves everyone feeling drained and demoralized. The good news is that we don't have to be passive victims in this scenario. By understanding the dynamics of toxicity and arming ourselves with effective strategies, we can navigate these challenging situations and protect our own well-being. There are practical steps we can take to minimize the impact of toxic behavior, from setting clear boundaries to seeking support from colleagues and superiors. Remember, you deserve a workplace where you feel respected, valued, and supported. Don't let the negativity of a few individuals overshadow your professional journey. By taking proactive steps, you can reclaim your happiness and thrive even in the face of challenging personalities. This guide will equip you with the tools and knowledge to identify, understand, and effectively manage interactions with toxic coworkers. It will empower you to create a more positive and productive work experience for yourself and those around you. Remember, you are not alone in this journey, and there are always resources available to help you navigate the complexities of workplace dynamics. Identifying toxic traits in coworkers is the first step towards effectively dealing with them. While each individual is unique, certain behaviors consistently signal toxicity in a professional setting. These can range from subtle passive aggressiveness to overt bullying and manipulation. Learning to recognize these red flags will allow you to act proactively and protect yourself from their negative influence. One common trait is negativity. These individuals are perpetual pessimists, constantly finding fault with everything and everyone around them. They thrive on complaints and criticism, spreading negativity like a virus throughout the workplace. Another telltale sign is a lack of accountability. Toxic coworkers rarely take responsibility for their mistakes or shortcomings. Instead, they deflect blame onto others, creating a culture of distrust and resentment. Control freaks are another breed of toxic coworker. These individuals crave power and micromanage every aspect of a project, stifling creativity and collaboration. Their need for control often stems from deep-seated insecurities, leading them to exert dominance over others. Gossip mongers are the silent assassins of the workplace. They thrive on drama and spread rumors like wildfire, creating an atmosphere of suspicion and negativity. Their actions can damage reputations and erode trust among colleagues. Remember, recognizing these toxic traits is not about labeling individuals, but about protecting yourself from their harmful behavior. Once you can identify these patterns, you can start implementing strategies to minimize their impact on your well-being and productivity. The next sections will delve deeper into these strategies, empowering you to take control of your work environment and cultivate a more positive and productive experience. Setting boundaries is paramount when dealing with toxic coworkers. It's about creating a protective barrier around your mental and emotional well-being. It's not about being rude or confrontational, but rather about communicating your limits clearly and respectfully. This sends a strong signal that you won't tolerate disrespect or negativity fostering a healthier dynamic. Start by identifying your personal triggers, those behaviors that instantly set you on edge. Once you're aware of these triggers, you can establish clear boundaries around them. For instance, if a coworker constantly interrupts you, politely but firmly state that you need uninterrupted time to focus on your work. Or if someone consistently dumps their tasks on you, politely decline and remind them of their responsibilities. Remember, Setting boundaries is an ongoing process. You may need to reiterate them multiple times, especially with individuals accustomed to pushing limits. Don't be afraid to be assertive and stand your ground. Your well-being is worth protecting. While setting boundaries is crucial, it's equally important to enforce them consistently. Empty threats or inconsistent responses will only embolden toxic behavior. Be firm and follow through on your stated limits. 
Setting boundaries is not a selfish act, but a necessary one. It's about creating a work environment where you can thrive and contribute without being subjected to negativity or disrespect. It's about safeguarding your mental health and ensuring that you can perform at your best. Remember, you deserve a workplace where you feel respected, valued, and empowered. Toxic coworkers thrive on drama. They're often the epicenter of workplace conflicts, stirring up negativity and tension wherever they go. Avoiding their drama vortex is crucial for maintaining your sanity and productivity. Don't get sucked into their web of negativity. Stay clear of gossip, avoid engaging in their complaints, and steer clear of any situation that could escalate into a conflict. Remember, you're not obligated to participate in their drama. Politely excuse yourself from conversations that veer into negativity or gossip. Refocus the conversation on work-related matters or simply state that you're not comfortable discussing the topic. Your time is precious. Don't waste it on unproductive and emotionally draining interactions. If a toxic coworker tries to drag you into a conflict, remain calm and disengage. Don't fuel the fire by reacting emotionally. Instead, reiterate your boundaries and politely decline to participate. If the situation escalates, document the interaction and seek support from your manager or HR. Remember, you don't have to handle this alone. Avoiding the drama vortex isn't about being indifferent to your colleagues' concerns. It's about protecting your own well-being and maintaining a professional and productive work environment. By staying clear of unnecessary drama, you can focus your energy on your work and cultivate a more positive and harmonious atmosphere around you. Section 5. Documentation, Your Silent Ally Documentation is your secret weapon when dealing with toxic coworkers. It's about creating a factual record of their behavior, which can be invaluable if you need to seek support from HR or management. Don't rely on memory alone. Create a detailed log of every incident, including dates, times, specific behaviors, and the impact on your work. This documentation serves as concrete evidence, removing any ambiguity or he said, she said scenarios. It provides a clear picture of the situation and strengthens your case if you need to escalate the issue. Remember, your goal is not to get someone in trouble, but to protect yourself and create a safer work environment. Include specific examples of the toxic behavior, such as demeaning comments, unreasonable demands, or attempts to sabotage your work. Note the impact of these actions on your productivity, morale, or overall well-being. Be factual and avoid emotional language or exaggerations. Your documentation should be a clear and objective record of the situation. This documentation will be invaluable if you decide to seek support from HR or management. It provides a solid foundation for your case, demonstrating a pattern of behavior and its impact on your work. Remember, documentation is not about seeking revenge, but about protecting yourself and advocating for a healthier work environment. Section 6. Seeking Support, You Are Not Alone Dealing with toxic coworkers can be isolating, but remember, you are not alone. Seeking support from trusted colleagues, mentors, or HR can provide invaluable guidance and emotional support. Talking to someone about your experiences can help you process your feelings, gain perspective, and formulate effective strategies. Trusted colleagues who have witnessed the toxic behavior can offer validation and support. They can provide insights into the coworker's past behavior and offer advice on navigating the situation. Mentors, with their experience and wisdom, can provide guidance on handling challenging personalities and advocating for yourself effectively. HR is there to ensure a safe and respectful work environment. They can offer resources, mediate conflicts, and take appropriate action if necessary. Don't hesitate to reach out to them if you feel unsafe or if the toxic behavior is significantly impacting your work or well-being. Remember, seeking support is a sign of strength, not weakness. It demonstrates your commitment to your well-being and your determination to create a positive work experience. Talking to someone about your experiences can be cathartic, allowing you to release pent-up frustrations and gain a fresh perspective. It reminds you that you're not alone in this struggle and that there are people who care about your well-being. Remember, a supportive network can make all the difference in navigating challenging workplace dynamics. Section 7. Self-Care, Your Secret Weapon While addressing the external factors of toxic co-workers is crucial, prioritizing self-care is equally important. 
It's about fortifying your inner resilience to withstand negativity and maintain your well-being. Self-care is not a luxury, but a necessity, especially when navigating challenging work environments. Start by establishing healthy boundaries between work and personal life. This means setting aside dedicated time for activities that bring you joy and rejuvenation, whether it's spending time with loved ones, pursuing hobbies, or simply relaxing. Disconnecting from work allows your mind and body to recharge, making you more resilient to stress. Practice mindfulness techniques like meditation or deep breathing exercises. These techniques help calm your nervous system and reduce anxiety, equipping you to handle stressful situations with more composure. Physical activity is another powerful antidote to stress. Regular exercise releases endorphins, boosts mood, and improves sleep quality, all of which contribute to a more resilient you. Remember, self-care is not selfish. It's an investment in your well-being. By prioritizing your mental and emotional health, you equip yourself to handle challenging situations with more grace and resilience. A well-nourished mind and body are your best defense against negativity and stress. Section 8. Cultivating a Supportive Workplace Creating a supportive workplace is a collective effort. While addressing individual toxic behavior is crucial, fostering a culture of respect, collaboration, and open communication is equally important. This creates a work environment where negativity is less likely to thrive and where individuals feel supported and valued. Encourage open communication within your team. Create a safe space for individuals to voice concerns, offer feedback, and seek support without fear of judgment or retaliation. Promote active listening and empathy ensuring that everyone feels heard and understood. Celebrate individual strengths and contributions, fostering a sense of belonging and shared purpose. Implement team building activities that promote collaboration and strengthen interpersonal bonds. These activities can range from informal social gatherings to structured workshops that focus on communication skills and conflict resolution. By investing in team cohesion, you create a more resilient and supportive work environment. Remember, a supportive workplace is not a utopian ideal, but an achievable goal. It requires conscious effort, open communication, and a shared commitment to creating a positive and respectful environment. By working together, we can create workplaces where everyone feels valued, respected, and empowered to thrive. Section 9. Towards a Happier, Healthier Work Life Navigating the complexities of workplace dynamics, especially when toxic coworkers are involved, can be challenging. But remember, you have the power to create a more positive and productive work experience for yourself. By implementing the strategies outlined in this guide, you can minimize the impact of negativity and reclaim your happiness at work. Setting boundaries, avoiding drama, documenting incidents, seeking support, and prioritizing self-care are all essential tools in your arsenal. These actions empower you to protect your well-being and navigate challenging interactions with grace and resilience. Remember, you deserve a workplace where you feel respected, valued, and supported. As you navigate this journey, remember that you're not alone. Countless individuals face similar challenges, and there are resources available to help you. Whether it's seeking guidance from trusted colleagues, mentors, or HR, or simply sharing your experiences with supportive friends and family, Remember that reaching out is a sign of strength. Ultimately, creating a happier and healthier work life is an ongoing process. It requires self-awareness, proactive effort, and a commitment to your well-being. By embracing these principles and consistently applying the strategies outlined in this guide, you can cultivate a more positive and fulfilling work experience for yourself and those around you. Remember, you have the power to create positive change one interaction at a time.